Hi everyone, in today's video we will discuss about the SIM 900 day mini version 4. Here also I'm gonna upgrade the module by using the mic and the speak option. And we will learn how to update the firmware. Now let's start. Now let's see the pins in the SIM 900 a and 900 modules. Both modules are the same, but only the difference is the firmware version. Now let's see the pins. This is the VCC, Ground, VCC MCU, Ground, TXD 5V, RXD 5V, TXD 3.3V, RXD 3.3V. And this is the ground. And this is the RX 232. And this is the TX 232. Now let's see how to upgrade the module. Now you can see the top view of the SIM 900A chip. Here you can see the speaker that is the red color line. The pins are 21 and 22. Here you can see the yellow lines that is mic. The pins are 19 and 20. Now you have to solder the pins very carefully. Here that pins are very tiny. So when you are going to solder it, you must be sure that the wires are not touching the other pins. And the most important thing is don't heat the chip too much, it will burn easily. Here you can see my one. Here I soldered only my mic and also I put some hot glue to stop the shake in the wire. Now let's see how to update the firmware. Here is the wiring diagram. I am using the USB to TTL converter module. Module is FT232RL. Now you can see it. Same way you can connect the wires. Here I supply power separately to the module. If you want, you can get the power from the TTL converter. Now let's do it. This is the FT232RL module. Now I'm connecting RX to TX, TX to RX and ground pin connect to ground. Now I'm connecting ground and VCC to take the power separately.
Here first you go to device manager and go to port. Now you can see the TTL converter has been connected to COM5. First I am going to power up the module. Then I am going to check the module version, firmware version and I want to know whether the DTMS works or not. Now let's check it. For that I am using AI Thinker Serial Tool. Now I am opening AI Thinker Serial Tool and selecting port number and bundle rate. Then I am opening serial. Now I am sending AT command. It's okay, that means the module is working. Now I'm checking the module version. It's SIM 900A. Now I'm checking the dual tone multi frequency. It's not working. Now I'm going to check the firmware version, module version, and chip version. The firmware version is 13. The module version is SIM 900A. The chip version is 64. Here you can see the DTMF is not working. So I'm gonna update the firmware. Now let's do it. Now let's go to the firmware folder. Now I'm selecting SIM 900 version. And the version is 6. Now I'm gonna extract that file. Now I'm extracting. Then first you have to power down the module. Then you have to go to SIM 900 custom flash loader. Then put the bundle rate to 1,152,000. Then select that file. Then start it. Then power up the module and it will automatically download the firmware. You can download the firmware versions and the other tools in the description below. You can choose the suitable firmware as you like. Now you can power down the module and power up the module again. Now I'm opening AI Thinker Serial Tool. Now you can see the module version is SIM 900 and not SIM 900A. Now you can see the firmware version is 6 and the module version is SIM 900M that means SIM 900 and the chip version is 64. Now you can see the dual tone multi frequency is working. That's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, please support my channel.
it really really does help give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this thanks so much for watching